Hi guys, Punctured 41 here and I'm going to be doing a death tour for you and it's mainly because I last did one three months ago and there have been a lot of changes on my deck since then and I thought you might get, like to have a look because these are very popular, I know a lot of people do them and I thought oh, you'll be intrigued to do it so I will show you my so, deck. Uh, what i got here is my graphic tablet which I use for editing, uh, mainly using it for video and photos at the moment. Uh, I'm experimenting it with the video side because I don't know if I'm quite tempted yet to get a trackpad for the Mac Mini. At the side there is my Samsung Galaxy S3 Mini which if you've seen recently I've only just got that and I'm really loving it as a phone, it's really nice. Then you have my Rat5 mouse, brilliant gaming mouse, I love using it, uh, it's a joy to use really. Here you have the Apple Magic Mouse, which obviously for the Mac Mini. Now I've only just started using that and I've only just started using that because of the uh, just getting the Mac and I've got to admit at first, I wasn't a fan of it. I was a bit wary of it. I was a bit like, they feel weird, I don't like it. But once I got used to it, it was actually quite nice to use. That is the Apple keyboard, which, if you have no noticed, I've had that for a very, very long time. Uh, I've had that before I had the Mac. So, yeah, I've had that a while. Underneath, and I don't know if that keyboard is fully lit up, it is. Underneath is the Eclipse Status 2, I think it is. Uh, wired keyboard. Lovely keyboard. The only problem I have with it is that the LCD screen on the side, once it's asleep or when you first turn the computer on, it dies and, and it really is a pain in the ass. And I'll go back here because I'll go back to that side in a minute. Under here you have my... 320 gig PS3 with the DualSock controller and I think under here should be my headset, yeah. Uh, my PlayStation 3 Sony official headsets which are really comfy and really nice. I, lo I would love to get the Pulse ones uh, but at the moment I haven't got the money for that. Uh, in here I wasn't going to open this drawer but this is just batteries, uh, CD, glasses cases speakers, uh, Kindle charger, it's just my where I put all my junk. In here I will keep that as much as anything, that is all our paperwork like council tax, doctors and stuff like that. So here underneath the monitor here you have my Philips Go 8 gig MP3 player. Not a fan of having an 8 gig MP3 player, I will prefer more, but as as it goes, that's all I can afford at the minute, so that's what it is. Uh, you have a set of Sennheiser headphones, which are brilliant. Recently, they weren't working, uh, one of the size had gone, like died, so I left them for a while, it just started working again. You have something I use a hell of a lot when I'm out and about and say I can't listen to football or cricket or I'm just intrigued about not listening to music so I tr use my DAB mini radio. Love this thing. Uh, round here the signal's not brilliant but I do get a good signal anyway. Then here you've got my 20... I keep it 22 inch monitor, wide green, it's a Samsung Syncmaster F22B300. Uh, there is a video about this monitor, uh, the unboxing and the review. Uh, I will either annotate or link below for you and show you it. At, at top you have my Logitech C C920 I think it is and also there's a video on that as well 
uh, as you can see, this screen is currently running the Mac Mini. It's currently running the Mac Mini, and it also, if I... Oh, hey oh, what's wrong with my PlayStation? My PlayStation won't turn... Oh. Hmm, that's off. I'll have a look at that because that won't turn on. Uh, it's also got my PlayStation hooked in to the back as well. Uh, yeah. Um, go to the PlayStation. There you go. Uh, as I said, that's the 320 gig PlayStation. So it's quite nice to have um, running on both both different sinks. Uh, that's something about Facebook on my Mac Mini there. I'll just turn that off. I'm a big PlayStation fan more than I am uh, Xbox 360. Always have been, always will be. Uh, moving on, you have my little tripod there which I sometimes put this camera on or one of my other cameras on to do videos as well. But, since getting that, I hardly use that much for videos at the moment. Now you have my 21.5 Samsung monitor. This is also a ThinkMaster FA100. On top of that, you have the Microsoft HD uh, Webcam 300. This is hooked up to my Windows machine, which I will show both the Windows machine and the Mac. This is hooked up to the Windows machine running Windows 8. Uh, down here you have my Philips uh, satellite speakers, along with some flash drives. Uh, the 16 gig one, the Gandhi's the 16 gig, the Ver 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 is a Mm, 2 gig. The this is actually a nice little gadget. It's a watch which also doubles up as an 8 gig flash drive, which is very handy. Uh, you had the volume control for the head headphones. You have my 32 gig flash drive, which has become very handy. Another Scandic. You have my little Wally uh, 4 USB hub, which has currently got a phone charger in and two external, two external hard drive plugged in. Then you've got the Blue Snowball microphone, which is recently new as well. Uh, this has been really nice to use. I have loved doing... Uh, voice recordings on this and doing it with the webcam because it drastically improved the videos. Then you have a Bogdander death lamp which I use a lot. Shouldn't really have a bulb in this one at the moment because it's not the right uh, what is so it will be getting turned off after this video. It is only on for this video. Over here you have my 16 gig tab Sony Tablet S. Now this normally sits on the side of my bed at night and I use it when I'm uh, going to bed. I listen to a lot of radio at night, uh, Radio 5 Live or cricket or uh, some of the podcasts and stuff like Football Ramble. I've currently been listening to a new one which is called Gold Weekly. Uh, we'll go this way. Here we have my Kindle. This is the keyboard version. Wi-Fi only model. Now I use this a, very, a lot. I mainly use this uh, when I'm out and about. Because I like to use the Kindle app. But I have so many books on here that I use. Read from. It's untrue. It's such a clever device. I've always liked it. I am tempted about getting a Kindle Paperwhite. But I'm not too sure about it yet. Up here we have my Vita, if I can just on 
do it. There we go. Yeah, up here we have my Sony Vita. Uh, it is a Wi-Fi only model. Uh, a lot of people criticise the um, because it's not had enough games and stuff like that. I personally like it. I play it a lot, and I love playing on it. Uh, before we start going on to uh, what's there, I will show you the PC first. Right, what we got down here? Down here we have my glasses, my sunglasses. We have a Sheffield Wednesday autograph book, which I actually use for notes, as well as this notepad here. We have so many notepads that scattered around this house that is untrue. The loads. Right, we have a 500 gig uh, Freecon drive, a 2 terabit Seagate drive, and we have a 400 gig Max, I think it's Max Tor drive, and the games that are here are FIFA 13 and Sleeping Dogs. Really, really need to start playing Sleeping Dogs again, I've missed playing that game, because I'm waiting for something that's like GTA uh, to play, and that's pretty much like GTA, and I really fancy, I can't wait until GTA comes out. Underneath there, there is Football Manager 2013. I will admit here, I am not the best at it, but I do love playing it. Right, down here we have my Windows PC. Now this is a, it was a custom built PC. It has a AMD 145 Safra Scipion, I can't say the word, processor. It is not the best processor in the world, I will admit that. And it does not have a brilliant graphic card in At the time, this is what I could afford. And this is what I got. Uh, it does have 8 gigs worth of RAM in it. And it does the job. It flies. And the only problem is, it, I didn't know my YouTube channel would be going a big and taking as much as uh, the power I needed for editing that when I bought this I didn't know I'd be doing so much more on uh, YouTube and video uh, photo editing so at the time this was just just to get me through I needed a PC because sick and tired of working on a laptop uh, now I've got to the point where I love working on desktop but I may have to get a laptop some point in the near distant future for going out with because uh, I do a lot of I, I like to do a lot of uh, work while I'm downstairs at times and it would be handy but I do spend a lot of my time in this office. So that's the PC. Now we'll be going back up here because here you've got uh, some CDs uh, and DVD RWs but here we have the latest addition to the deck mainly. Uh, it's a Mac Mini 20, late 2012 edition. It's an i5 processor with 8 gigs of RAM, 500 gig hard drive, and I don't, you haven't seen this at all in any of my videos yet because I only got this the other day and I didn't do an unboxing or, or, or anything like that because I couldn't really be asked. This is a jam box and it it's superb. It, I want, I, I'm not a big fan of the speakers, the internal speakers on the Mac Mini. Granted, they are not meant to be brilliant. They do the job. They do the job. But I wanted something that could punch up a little bit more uh, volume. So I got this. And now it worked by Bluetooth, but it also worked by audio in. Uh, line out. I click through line out because with line out, you get about 12 hour battery. Bluetooth 4. It is char you can charge it by USB. It's got an internal, I think it's got an internal lithium battery in it, and it's superb. It is so loud. Uh, it's unbelievable how much power this thing pumps out. Uh, I've been very impressed with it. I've had it only a couple of days, and I love it. It's an amazing little piece of kit. Uh, yeah, I recommend anyone who wants something that's going to be you for phone, iPad, anything that's got Bluetooth really and you don't want to be carrying a big beaker around, get this, it's about 24 quid. I got mine for less than that because the package, the actual contain, comes in like a little container with damage so I managed to get it cut down to a, a big, big below in price. 
So yeah, this is my deck. Uh, it. I spend a lot of time in here. This is where I pretty much do all my videos in this room. Now, there is one more piece of kit I am going to show you, which I'm going to turn round to show you. And because I couldn't get it on the deck. Now, this isn't my laptop. This is my partner's laptop. Uh, this is her advent laptop. Now, I use this for when I need to uh, write notes or something, or if I'm working downstairs, I use this a lot. Up in that cupboard there, there is a dead HP laptop, which I need to get the hard drive out of and get a dock and get everything off that hard drive. I may even get a case and just put it in a case and have that and turn that into an external hard drive. But yeah, this is the advent. This is running Windows 7. I think it's 320 gig hard drive. Uh, 4 gigs of RAM. It might be 2, I can't remember. It's a good little basic standard laptop. Now, like I said to everyone in here, I do all my videos from in this room. Uh, pretty much, I work really hard to get all the videos done, my Wednesday ones, my F1 ones, everything. Everything is done from this room, it's either, either done on the PC, written up, or to be fair, the PC at late had turned into whatever I need to use for Flash, because Microsoft hate Flash, uh, Windows hate, not Windows, uh, Macs are you know, not a big fan of Flash. So yeah, this is the death tour and I hope you enjoyed it and I will probably attempt to do another one in about six months time if I've got anything new on the deck. But I doubt I'll have anything new on the deck for a while because uh, I've got to start saving for some things and paying off the Mac. Uh, if anything, the next thing that may be bought for the YouTube planning career-wise and stuff is probably another camera. I may, I'm in two minds whether to save up and get a good donking digital SLR camera and use that as my camera and my video camera or, or I can get a Sony Handycam uh, for a good price and use that because I like having the flick green. But like I said, this has been my death tour. I really hope you guys enjoy it and I'll speak to you guys later. Bye.